Hi, I'm Emily Myatt, Master Groomer and Pet Stylist. And this is Bo, our Labradoodle, which today we're going to use as our model to demonstrate how to use the wall clipper blades and clippers. Today I'm going to be using my favorite, which is the wall KM cordless. And we can groom every single part of this dog using this one tool. We can change the blades from different lengths, so this being one of the shortest, so I can do all of my sanitary and my hygiene, or I can use my guide combs over the top to give me longer lengths, or simply change it over for a longer blade. And this one here is a 3F, which is what he gets done on a regular basis. And that keeps him nice and fluffy looking. So Bo is gonna get an all over body cut using a 3F. And we're going to be using this going with the lay of the coat, so in the same direction as the coat grows. This type of hair is, is fairly thick and fluffy, and this is gonna give us a nice length that still maintains a bit of fluffy looking to him. So we're gonna just run the blade smooth, making sure that we keep the blade very flat on the dog. We don't wanna be tipping it up like this. These are designed to work keeping them very flat and just gliding the blade smoothly along the length of the dog's body. If your dog's coat's been really well prepared and it's, it's beautifully washed and clean and fluffed, then one speed is gonna work for you. Uh, it, it means that if you're only using it the one speed, that your blades are gonna stay a little bit cooler. Obviously, the faster that they run, the, the warmer the blades will get. So you do need to keep that in mind and keep checking the temperature of your blades as you're working on the dog. So you can um, make sure that it's not getting too, too warm on their skin. So it's really important that you maintain the clipper blades and keep them oiled and well lubricated because what can cause a blade to get hot is just poor maintenance. So knowing um, when you're using your tool or before and after, you well oil that by putting three little drops of uh, the wall oil along the running edge of the blade. Whilst you're grooming your dog, you want him to be happy and enjoying the process. So uh, a good tip is lots of praise, lots of kisses and cuddles, and maybe even some treats. And try to keep him occupied. Sometimes a little lick mat or something on the floor that will keep him busy so he's just thinking about other things. I know some dogs like to watch TV, um, but yeah. Or maybe you'll have an assistant. Maybe you'll have someone there to help you that can give the dog some attention at the front whilst you're working at the back. It's, it's one of the things, you know, you wanna make the dog enjoy the whole experience as best that it can. And these are a nice quiet clipper, so they're not gonna upset the dog at all with the noise, especially once they get used to it. <laughs> 